Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Go Eevee. Sorry about uh, that sudden ending last episode, but I literally cannot bring the capture card back up um, until I close the program, the, the close OBS here that I'm using to record, so... Unfortunately, because of the fact that uh, I had to completely close and reopen OBS, there was no way for me to continue that previous episode. I didn't feel like going in and doing an edit to just add a couple of minutes or something. You know, I, I'm trying to do 22, 25 episodes, or 20, 20 to 25 minute episodes, and that was already at 20 minutes. So it was okay to end at that point anyway. So it worked out well enough. But it was just like suddenly, okay, capture card just crashed. So I guess I'm just stopping here. <laughs> you know, just a ran random, very sudden thing that happened. That got me very confused. I think um, one of the cats probably bumped the capture card or something and so it disconnected for a split second because it came right back up it's just that it doesn't come back up on OBS when it crashes it's crashed just straight up so uh, ba -da -ba -da. I don't know I guess poor Pika I'm just going to go heal after this, I think. They've got one party member paralyzed, one party member unconscious, and everybody else has some level of injury, so... I think I can just go back and heal at this point. I think I'm getting... I think this is supposed to give me, like, the key card for the elevator or something, but I don't remember. No. Don't bother learning Protect. You can't do it. There isn't enough double battles in this game to learn protect. Double battles only useful for freaking double battles. So, no, I didn't get anything from her. I for Cubone. Hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh yeah, I forgot I was looking for Cubone. Okay, I'll talk. If you want to find the boss, take the elevator. <coughs> Sorry. That last sneeze was much harder and much weirder than I thought it would be. There is a phone, but I can't interact with it. That's interesting. So I guess there's nothing here. There's just keyboards. In a box, for some reason. Hmm. I guess it's just extra trainers down here. I thought that was, like, the next area to go to. That's interesting. Whee! Team Rocket Hideout has four underground floors. Think you can reach the boss? Not a problem. Not a problem at all. You're not going to get away with this brat. The same as they have anything fun to say, blast it. You're dissing Team Rocket, aren't you? I mean, does it look like I'm dissing Team Rocket? You know, you guys are stupid. And you're just letting a 12-year-old run around? Now don't go tell anyone I'm a spy, okay? If you do, I'll have to give you a scolding. Not to mention, I'll probably get, you know, murdered or something. Not to worry. There is no Team Rocket base right over there. None at all. Alright, moving on. No, nobody's, nobody's paying attention to the Team Rocket base, so we're good. <laughs> Seriously though, 
I open the elevator, I open the stairs, and nobody even cares. They're all too busy playing games. Sounds like me. I'd be too busy playing video games. But what can you do? Thanks for waiting. And let's see, can I relearn the fire move from you? Uh, Sizzly Slide. Because Batty Bad is not very good. <laughs> and forget it. Do and ta da! Learn Sizzly Slide. What a marvelous relationship with your Pokemon, okay? Too bad that you don't get stab from them all just because Eevee is like every type all at once. But also no types, which is why it's a normal type. So. Like it's DNA is constantly changing. You know, it would be cool if because like Eevee has all these moves, like if they all got stab just because of that. Like, only for the special EV moves there, you know? Look who finally showed up, huh? We got word from upstairs that you were coming. But then, also, we also heard that you then left. So we weren't actually sure if you were coming or not. But you're here. Well, I mean, I had to heal up my Pokemon. It's not like, you know, you could have restocked and healed up all of your Pokemon and made me fight through this whole hideout in one go because every time I leave, all the trainers come back fully restocked. It's not like you're all supposed to be rich, so you could be carrying potions and revives or more than one Pokemon to fight with. Or, you know, you could just beat me up because I'm a little 11-year-old kid here walking through the Team Rocket hideout. You know, you gotta have a gun or something too, right? Now, this is the Pokemon world. We don't carry guns or beat people up. What? I lost? No! To think that I could lose a Pokemon fight and now I'm stuck and I don't have anything. Dark Pulse. Ooh. What is this? Guard spec. Nothing I can interact with apparently because of guard that uh, I interact with that guard spec. So I have no idea whose Pokemon those are, but I can't take them or anything or turn them to their rightful owners. That's what I would think upon seeing that. I was like, ooh, these must be uh, Pokemon that got stolen. Let me just break into this thing. Take them. I'll figure out who they belong to, you know. Send them to the Pokemon box and be like, hey. Got these Pokemon. Found them in the Team Rocket hideout. We all know that Team Rocket just steals their Pokemon. So, there's no way any of them have, you know, proper Pokemon themselves. <laughs> Let's go this way. Yay! Looks like I made the right choice on that. Found a rare candy. Cool. But now I think I have to go back to that exact spot. Do 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 do. I think the other way is the way I needed to actually go. Do 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 do. Ba do ba do ba do. So I went. Oop. I went there. I to go here this time. So I go in a different direction. So I can't interact with the phones. What's up, Metal and Team Rockets Affairs? Or else? Or else what? Uh, I'll fight you in a Pokemon battle. Because for some odd reason, even though we're an evil team, we couldn't possibly beat up a little kid. I mean, I, I see no issues with this then. I guess I'll just fight you in a Pokemon battle and beat you up.
It, it makes me think of the uh, the Lysander fight in X and Y. Like, you fight Lysander, and it's just like, okay, whatever, you know, just fought Lysander. But then, like, you do the second Lysander fight, and he pulls out this big, like, mech, right? And it's like, okay, I've got this big mech. And now, uh, just fight my Pokemon. And, it, you know, uh, I've got this, you know, incredible mech, but it doesn't actually do anything. Or change anything about the fight or anything like that. What the heck? <laughs> Pow! Sword View Swift. That's about as effective as Thunderbolt, to be honest. So. Seismic Toss. Boom! Or the, um, the Lusamine fight from Sun and Moon. It's like she, you know, fuses with, um, the, the Ultra Beast. And you're like, oh boy, I uh, fight her as an Ultra Beast. And it's just like, okay, here, have him fight my Pokemon, you know. Like, it would have been so cool to fight her, you know. But no, she, she's a po she's, you know, got Pokemon, so just fight her like a trainer. Now, I'll admit that that fight was hard as all crap. Don't get me wrong. Like, oh my god, was that a hard fight. There's a note on the wall with a warning scrawled on it. Please don't let any Pokemon in the air vents. Climb atop the walls and wreck havoc. That. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I wonder if that's important for anything, or if that's just a random thing. Haha, <laughs> what's that? You say the elevator doesn't work? Of course not! I've been keeping the lift key safe this whole time! There's the key. That's right, the second floor maze is so you can get to the lift. You can't get to the lift on any of the other floors. This first floor has a locked door that you can only get through from the lift side. Floor 3 is where Giovanni himself is, I think. So you can't do anything there. And so it's just like, nope, that's all you can do. Thunderbolt. I still feel like I'm a little low level just because my Pokemon are like exactly their level. So that's a little concerning in my opinion, but eh. Huh. Oh, how am I supposed to keep you from taking the lift key? So I'll have to use my own kind of struggle. Run away with the lift key! I hope my bosses don't hear about this. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that was important, I see. Ha ah, phew! Without the key, there's no way you'll make it to the boss. So you can get it back from up there, then I'd sure like to see you try. Ha 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 ha! It's too high up, you can't reach it. Me? Maybe Evie could, maybe Eve could reach it, if there was some way to climb up there. Hmm, 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 hmm. Alright. Air duct. If, we were, if there were a step stool or something, maybe it would be possible to reach the top from there. Look around and see if you can find something you can climb up on. A s chair. A chair could probably be used as a step. Oh my god, I kind of love this. Just this extra th little bit here. Off you go. Gee. Do I get to control Eevee? That's the time for your party to shine. Get the key that the Team Rocket grunt through. Oh yes, I do. I get to play as Eevee now. Oh my god, I love it. Where did that Cubone come from, boss? Meh. Two of my underlings decided to bring it here without my permission. Scarlet has very beautiful. We should be able to sell it for a good price once it becomes a Marowak. Who's this guy? Blue haired guy over here, man. 
Get out of the air vent. I wondered if that sign was going to end up being important based off of that. Whee! Run across. <laughs> I love that my... That the trainer is sitting there watching this whole thing. Like, as I move around, she actually, like, watches. You've got the lift key! Did you hear something just now? I did. That was definitely a noise. Could be an intruder? Grrr. Never mind. It must have just been me ass hungry tummy. Don't get me all worried over nothing. Train is waiting for you. Jump with all your might. <gasps> I love it. I seriously love these little extra things that they've added. It's great. Got the lift key. Plus, I mean, let's just see this blue-haired guy, which... Like, I mean... Is that... Hang on. I have to look up a picture from Heart Gold and Soul Silver here real fast. Um, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, uh, Team Rocket, Executives. Um, yeah, Archer? He does kind of look like him. Looking at this picture, aside from the fact that he doesn't have the white outfit, he has the blue hair. So, that, I'm wondering, maybe that's Archer? I mean, this is three years prior, remember, so... That would be actually really cool if they incorporated the, uh... The Heart Gold Soul Silver Team Rocket executives into this, or at least Archer, you know. So, hmm. All right, moving on. Well, I guess we'll find out as we go along. It would be pretty cool, honestly, if. The, the Team Rocket executives showed up, but I guess we'll have to wait and see what the game does. See what they do, you know? Wee! Spinning right round, baby, right round! Uh, I don't remember which way to go here. This way. I just stop and remember how to get around here. <laughs> but they could have always hit that one too. But and down and then right, left, and then top left. Got it. Um. Oh, actually, Archer is... I'm looking at Bulbapedia, and Archer is listed as being in Let's Go Eevee, so... Cool. I think that is him. Probably the only one that shows up. But yeah, there's apparently three battles with him. According to the... Uh, oh, it's the fourth floor. Of course it is. Third floor just doesn't have a path, it looks like. Of course it's the fourth floor. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I'm not looking... Um, to see if the others are in here. I'll definitely leave that up to a surprise. I'm going, I think that's Archer. And so I looked it up and can confirm. I'm pretty sure it's Archer. Uh, actually, before I go do that. Now that I have the lift key. And I was confused because I walked into the lift. And it didn't like change scene or anything. So... Let me fight this guy and then I can... Leave a lost little child. <coughs> you mark it, grunt. <coughs> hmm. Yeah, that is really cool, actually. That they brought in Archer. I really hope that they do a uh, Let's Go um, game for Generation 2. Just so that I can see what it is that they do with, you know, the the continued 
universe of the Let's Go series, you know? Like, this is obviously its own separate, you know, universe from all of the other Pokemon games. So, it would be really cool to find out, hey, you know, there's a, you know, gold and silver version of Let's Go. Um... I don't know what your what the two starter Pokemon would be. Why? I mean, unless they just let you pick your starter like normal, but uh oh, that book is somehow open the door. Cause that totally makes sense. I don't understand it though. We didn't have any good reason why fighting this guy would just suddenly open the door. So it, it just a wizard did it. <laughs> Ay. What can you do, I suppose? The fact that there's three battles with Archer, though, seems to insinuate the idea that he's the only admin we're going to see, though. Executive, whatever you want to call it. But that's alright. I'm okay with that. It still links up, uh, you know, saying, yeah, no, these guys were in, you know? I like that. I like the added addition of Archer being in Let's Go Eevee in the Generation 1 games, you know? So. Can't wait to see what they do with it. Although, does that mean I'm going to fight Jesse and James and then fight Archer and then fight Giovanni like three fights in a row? Oh my god. <laughs> Well, I guess we'll be finding that out in the next episode because I'm going to go ahead and end this episode off here right before our fight with Giovanni. So I do hope you've enjoyed. If you have, feel free to subscribe. Feel free to check the video description down below for a link to the playlist so that you can get caught up on any episodes that you might have missed. And I'll see you all next time. See you later.